Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I, how are you liking these challenges? I was looking at Susan's challenge from, goodness, Friday, and I just really loved it. So I am participating in that challenge. Um, and, oops, sorry, I'm pulling it up on my, or my iPad. Um, anyway, this is my take on challenge number one. I went, went ahead and um, basically copied her word for, or, you know, like exactly, which is kind of nice when you're wanting that non-stress of creating something. <laughs> so I went and I said, well, here's my floral. So I'm going to put it there and there. And I got my plane there and there. And so it's really easy. And then <laughs> before I realized, like, I didn't watch that part on how she did it. So I'm going to have to reprint these other two <laughs> as vertical four by sixes if you're going to put them on the streamer. Vertical is very important. So I am going to need to go ahead and reprint those. But other than that, this is my take on challenge number one. I thought I'd share that. I hope you guys are having fun. Anybody else doing the challenges? Got a pretty good prizes at the end of the week. Um, I'll tuck those away. Um, all right, so today we have a new sketch challenge and I am gonna pull out my paper. So I, I know I just did a boy layout. How are we feeling about that, guys? Are you okay with that? <laughs> um, my other option is I have a girl. Um, I do have my daughter's one, but I think this will be really fun. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with that. It's funny how like you see the sketch, and there's so many different ways you can take it. Today's sketch is right here, and it's... Let me see if I can hold it up. I don't know. We'll, we'll post it separately as well. Um, but it is from a live a couple weeks ago and we had this kind of in the works before we decided to do this craft in before everything changed. So um, <laughs> so it may look a little different, but these ones have like what was used, everything about them. But, <coughs> excuse me, hey Cindy. Um, when, I, when I saw this, like once it's done, I didn't go back and look at Susan's layout. So Hopefully, you know, it's, it can just, you can take the same sketch and create something completely different. But um, on this one, I kind of saw this and I thought, hey, that kind of looks like a stegosaurus back. So I, I might have dug myself a hole, but I'm like, hey, <laughs> I've got to dig. These are ones I was using earlier today on that other layout. Like, you know, because that could be kind of cute, even that hello. I don't know if that's going to be big enough, but little, little dinosaur stegosaurus stegosaurus right stegosaurus yeah see look that kind of looks like it would work i might have someone something bigger anyway i thought that would be really cute on a border and so that's the direction i was heading i have these pictures of my son with his new glasses um and he lost a tooth and got glasses on the same week so pretty big changes but then he had this picture with him and rex which is his his favorite little dinosaur um, so something I do, I don't know if you noticed, I use these four by six clear cellophane bags and I don't use the sticky part, so they're very reusable. And then usually one of the main reasons I even use Instagram is so I can document. And so once I get the pictures printed, I'll go ahead and write like the date, which so that I can just get finished right from the start. And then I'll write what I wrote. And sometimes I change it for scrapbooks and get a little more detailed or something but that way I have a little bit of detail I have the date so I can definitely kind of get started right from the get-go but this the sketch the one thing I love about it is there are 10 images so I mean the biggest thing I'm like well these pictures may not be the best for the two by twos <laughs> but you know we can definitely and you don't have to do it exactly like that so Let's open up my paper. So this one I haven't gone through. I don't know. I haven't, I don't know. Our little, one of the local scrapbook stores was going out of business. So I bought all these like individual pages and then I had already bought these two from Echo Park. So I have a lot of this paper. 
I'm not worried about running out, but let's go ahead and look and see. Oh, look, that blue is so cute. These are in blue, so I don't know what's in here, but I haven't looked at it yet. The green could be kind of cute. That's a good solid background, although I like the footprint green too. I'm kind of, oh. That shows you how good I organize. I have a, like some random button. Must have got mixed in when. Okay, so that's that. This blue is still dinosaur. That's funny. I'm gonna throw that one out. You know what I did? This, I know why. Sorry, I'm just realizing what I did. This is the cutest. Um. It's so cute, um, background paper and it matches. So I didn't buy bunny paper. Now that I'm back, I'm like, I can definitely use this as background paper. That's the nice thing. I miss the scrapbook stores because you can go in and you can say, hey, I need to specific layout. Now that I remember, we can get back to it. Sorry guys, I'm gonna pull up my laptop. My iPad is not letting me see your comments. got everything thrown around everywhere um anybody else feeling the chaos um i wouldn't say i'm super stressed yet we're in idaho it's still pretty good but i just feel it feels chaos chaotic and then my kids just left like right before i started and you know that's always chaos trying to get them out the door without anybody going crazy Um, I've really loved all these videos. I'm excited. I really love Mary's this morning going through her thought process. And I've watched some of them that are coming up tomorrow. So, you know, stickers are kind of one of those things I'll set to the side. All of those letters. Debbie did a really cute one. That was cute. Um, I remember. All right, there we go, guys. Now I can see um, your comments. I don't know why it's so hard sometimes. What are you guys thinking? Um, oh, Maureen says this is helping. I'm so glad it's helping. I'm assuming you mean the stress, right? Oh, it feels like a science fiction movie. I know. It's kind of bizarre. You're like, I'm not going to not take it seriously. But if I think too much about it, I'm going to stress out. I like the red because his little glasses are red. What do we think? I can either do... So that feels a little weird with the gray behind it. You know what? I'm going to use the bunny paper because that's kind of funny that I did that. Definitely use the red. Sometimes this paper section gets a little crazy. I guess I can see if there's any better ones. I always like to set those ones aside because I know I'm going to try to get a title out of the title page. That is super cute and it would Those are cute. Okay, we're getting there guys. We're getting there. Has anybody else been scrapbooking today? I don't know. It also was just a gorgeous day. We were outside working in the yard all day. Um, absolutely beautiful out there. I'm a little nervous about that blue. What do you think of the green, guys? I don't know if you can see that. 
Green or blue? Hi, Kelly. I'm glad you're here. Is too flashy green okay I heard a green I'm gonna go with green yeah I feel like that blue just doesn't quite do it justice on these particular images oh I really like scrapbooking in my bedroom it's nice and quiet and peaceful might set up a card table more often So I have my sketch. Yeah, I think a stegosaurus is gonna look really good right there. But I wanna go through my templates and kind of see. So other options would be, that would be a little bigger. I could definitely use that one, would be a cute stegosaurus. And then there's even this bigger one that from Wildflower. And I could use the biggest Wildflower, which is actually what is used right there. I would just use it a little bit differently. I'm just digging through. So that's a lot of times, I guess, how I start is, you know, you see something and you, it sparks your interest. And then you, because I like making stuff out of my templates. And then you have to just kind of dig until you find something that will work <laughs> in your templates because somewhere there's a shape that kind of matches it. Do I always buy two paper packs? I do, Trisha. Um, I, most of the time, the only way I can buy is online through Echo Park. And so I know I'm going to want two matching backgrounds. So it's very rare that I don't because we just don't have, like our last scrapbook store went out of business that I know of in the area. And so just kind of got to do which, you know, you know what works. And I usually am sick of it by the time I'm done with it, but then you, know, you hide it away for a little bit. <coughs> so here's the other options. I feel like that is probably gonna be too big. That's from Wildflower. Um, Um, Chanel, what do you mean? I've never thought of using it as prints. Maybe I was, oh, like, I don't know. Oh, that could be like a dinosaur print. Maybe, um, it definitely could. I'm talking more about like the spine of, like I was thinking like with a border, you could use these as a spine of, um, of the stegosaurus's back is kind of where I, my thought was going. Initially when I saw this sketch just out of the corner of my eye, I was like, hey, that could be pretty cool. So I think I'm going to use... Abbey Road, Aspen Court, sorry. Um, and then, so even with these sketches, you know, you don't have to use the exact same one. But kind of have that on that side. I feel like there might be a different one. I want a little steeper. Yeah, I think I like Claroline better. We're using Claroline! Um, and having that kind of like a back. So let's get this started. Ew, 
it rained this morning and we have a French drain in our backyard that is sinking. <laughs> so my kids were covered head to toe in, okay, not quite head to toe, but <laughs> they were soaking wet. They thought it was grand old time because it's warm outside. It's 50 degrees here, so, oh, it was so nice. So we're gonna have our little stegosaurus there. Stegosaurus. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna use all three of these ones and kind of stair step it down. That'll be a cute little stegosaurus. Um, this is my sketch I'm following. And yeah, you don't have to do it exact, but So that's the pair. And one thing I was excited about using this is I have not used the one I did last night too with, stre with streamers. And then this one uses banners. I haven't used these a ton. So in my banners, I went ahead and put the, the sash a la carte, which could work there, but maybe a little more feminine than I'm wanting. So I am using Clara Lane. Um, Clara Lane is one of those just really simple, flowy um, templates, which is really nice. Um, it doesn't, I mean, and it still has, you know, some of the little pointy, pointy parts. <laughs> oh, she didn't use banners, she did use streamers. <laughs> that is going to show. I was going to say, I just used it last night. I hope I put it back. And I think the ticket works really good there. I haven't used this one a lot, so I'll probably go ahead and stick with that. Hey, Mindy. Mindy's going to, guys, she's going to share a kid's craft this afternoon. It'll be pretty awesome. She told me about it. Real simple thing that you can do with kids. I've been scrapbooking a lot, so my photos are a mess. Big old mess, but I'm gonna go ahead and line those up. And I'm thinking with these three by threes, we I can use a um, one of the title cards too in some of these. I just kind of throw all of mine in the back so they're kind of jumbled. I don't know about you guys, but the one thing, there's so much negative right now in the world, but the one thing that just keeps me cracking up is our little work. <laughs> the uh, home office has a little text chain of hilarious memes that are going around and there's so many really funny ones. And it's not making light of like everything that's happening. It's just trying to find humor in a situation that is somewhat bleak that, you know, we can all laugh even if it's a sad little pathetic laugh we can <laughs> We can all laugh. Use a little more laughter in our lives, right? Okay. So these ones up here, she had some two by twos. I know I don't have any two by twos, so I'm probably gonna do something different up in that corner. So much of it depends on like the pictures that you have. Okay. I'm gonna start cutting, cause sometimes when I feel a little like, ooh, which ones do I do next? Just, I start cutting. It's really simple, you know, you, you look at your challenge and you can be like, okay, I need some here, which I got. Um, and even like a cute little, maybe one of the stickers could work really good right there. Um, and different elements on that for sure. Uh. 
So what are the, the, I look at elements a lot of times for like sentiments for the boy layouts, not sentiments, ways to accessorize, there's adventure, I think we used that one last time too. I'm really pushing them to get some glasses, guys, because, you know, how many times could we use glasses? I want to hear a show of hands. Who wants glasses? Because <laughs> I really want them to, to release some glasses. I think they would be so useful for, um, for so many layouts, like when you're at the beach and sunglasses. I'm just saying. I'm just going to say I think it's a good idea. Hey, Sue, I'm glad you're here, too. Let's see. Does anybody else want glasses? I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one. I think they would be awesome. Goodness. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting. Where's my cutter? This is an easy one to do. The so if I'm doing a three by four too, sometimes I can like if I know I have plenty of room, I'm not gonna worry about cutting. I just try to line it up at the one and a half, because then I know I can come back here at three, and it's very centered. You know, no problems at all. And then. Just kind of looking at where, you know, I'm going to have to cut some of his feet off, which is fine. I know I just have to make a bunch of three by threes and three by fours. Yes, Chanel's with me on the glasses, Mindy. We'll buy them. I may have to use um, one and a half right at the nose. I may have to use like these, make these ones three by fours. Just make it, make it work for the pictures that you have. Danny's with me. Yes, I'm gonna create a revolution. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Can there be a scrapbooking revolution? That'd be pretty awesome. Just for glasses, guys. Get it. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have to make those three by fours. It's funny, we used to take pictures so far away that you could cut all your pictures down, but now I get right up in their faces and it's no big deal. You know, you just don't even need to worry about it. So I don't know if you saw there, just kind of making sure where you're cropping in photography, you know, you can, you don't want to cut like right at the top of their head, but if you cut like right at the forehead, that's fine. You don't want to cut like in the middle of the hand, but you know, you can crop right there. Those are the kind of different things that you're supposed to look for. But with these ones, they're all kind of going to be the same crop, which is fine. But you know, you could crop if it's a little closer, you can always crop their head a little chop off their head. It's kind of nice having all the pictures kind of the same. He's peasy. Lamb is peasy. <laughs> yeah, because it's on a card table, I've noticed it is shaking a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. It's not as stable. It's normal. Oh. Did you ever do that? I don't know how I got two of the exact same picture. I don't know. Okay, 
and cut that. But those are those are the same one too. I'm almost thinking instead of these three little ones, I can put this guy here. And then I... <laughs> I picked these because I thought I had a lot of pictures, not if there are two of them are duplicates. Anyway, so we'll go there and then... Real quick. These are all really cute. Any of your kids have glasses? I'm always so worried. <laughs> like, we actually bought two because I'm like, you know, he's gonna come home and they're gonna be broken one of these days because that boy is about as careful as nothing. Like, just so wild. I didn't get my glasses until I was in third grade, so he's in kindergarten. So it's a little earlier, a little crazier. So I like this little, the I love you this much thing. He does that all the time to me and he'll say like, I love you 1000. And he doesn't really know like what the biggest number is. So sometimes we end up at like 300 or something is the most he loves me. Okay, I kind of like it's really a simple, sometimes like simple layouts are really nice when you know you can just kind of pound them out and it's not very stressful. You just know you got, you're following a specific sketch and so it's really, it makes it so much easier. Okay, so I'm going to pick. I don't want like one of the eggs or um, one of these busier ones on this one because I feel like that would really detract. But I think we'd be okay with this. And that's just such a fun pattern. And hey, if we don't like it, we can always start over. Hey, Audra. Thank you for coming on. Audra has a great one tomorrow to you guys. Like I have, um, she pre-recorded it and we're going to go ahead and share it. And it's amazing. So many amazing ideas. I saw it. it was great. So make sure tomorrow morning you look up. Cause we have, it's an awesome one. I should have brought one of those tips you gave Audra, but I didn't. Okay, I think it's time for a giveaway. I didn't do them the last couple of times. I'm so bad at remembering, so I think I'm gonna do it right now so I don't forget. Let's see. Who wants to do it? Let's see. I'm gonna read Gwen's while I think about it. Both my kids have glasses. Only my 18-year-old daughter has two pairs and she's only had them for a year. My son got his in first. We only ever got him one pair. He's never broken or lost them. Oh goodness, gal, I'm so <laughs> I know after after we got him and we got him back, we're like, maybe we were overreacting a little bit. Like, don't think he's actually gonna break them. He hasn't yet. But there's that real fear. Oh my gosh. That what is gonna happen to us? Alright guys. I'm gonna cover these up. Oh, they're right there. Um, 
What border am I using? Does anybody remember what border I'm using? That's really cute paper. First one to say what border I'm using gets a $10 gift store credit. <laughs> okay, you guys answered. I'm like, I don't remember which one I'm using. Claire Lane, yes. So I see Danny Shockey first. So Danny, you win a $10 store credit, which will be applied once the website's back up. Shocking. Cool. Yes, Clara Lane. It's a good one. Um, if you want to learn the, <laughs> learn them. Going through and trying to figure out which ones for the idea book really gets you going. <laughs> really gets you learning them. I mean, we, we, that's kind of fun is if you look at a layout and just try to guess it and then you have to kind of go to the catalog to confirm it, but you'll learn them pretty quick. So I'm doing one of the big one and then I think, I don't know, I might small it down, but I think I'm going to do two of each of the smaller sizes on each side. I don't know how they really are, but in the, this little artistic drawing on this paper, it had a bigger one in the middle and then littler ones as they go down. Carrie says, my daughter's supposed to wear glasses, but she keeps losing hers. Oh, I was one of those kids. I lost everything, which is really stressful now that I'm a mom because all of a sudden you're irresponsible for everything. Mm. I hate extra paper weighing me down. And this one I can be pretty whatever because it's going to be tucked behind that. Right now he only has to wear them at school, which is nice. Gosh, we've talked a lot about glasses. Okay. I should have decided. That's the red. Is there a different color that would look better? I don't mind it. I'm just trying to make sure I made the right choice. Could be this color. Or yellow. I think red's fine and it definitely matches the the glasses, so having the red accents is kind of fun. Okay, we'll keep with red. Unless anybody uh, thinks otherwise. So these are the wild tiny wildflower I'm using to cut these out. But I'm sure there's other ones you you know, it's like if you don't have one, you can probably find it with a different thing. Um, it may not be the same shape, but I kind of like that they're all layered. Gal says my kids expect me to know where everything is. I usually do. Gosh. That actually kind of, like, I'm, I'm really, I'm like, almost, even in kindergarten, I'm like, you guys should be able to check your own stuff. Like, I make them bring their lunch in to school on, the, on their own. Like, their lunch and water, you know, and, like, you guys can handle that. And glasses and whatever else they're bringing, because I'm like, I just can't, you know, I don't want to add another thing. And, you know, you know, they just, I agree, you got to let them sweat it out. You got to. They've got to figure it out for themselves or they're going to be 20 and not know where anything is. <laughs> it entertained you, Gail. I'm, that's awesome. Yeah. You're like, go find it. I know. And my husband can never find anything. He's very organized. So if it's organized, then he knows where it is. But, you know, if 
it's not in the exact same place, you wouldn't know where it is. And so, like, it's not lost until mom can't find it. Then, then maybe it's lost. And even then, I'm like, I'm sure I'll find it in a couple of years. At some point, it's bound to show up. Okay, yeah, that'll be fun, I think. Okay, then I don't know if I'll use them all, but that's a fun little stegosaurus. With a new one, it's kind of nerve wracking, but it's a new ink pad, newer ink pad too. So I lose these things. This is one of those things I lose like every day, and then you're like, bound to show up. Let me sweep in, and I'll find it rolling, rolled into some corner. So because I wanted this simple, I think the strip that I'm going to do there, I can do with the eggs, or probably. Like the little dinosaurs would be cute where it's a little strip. Kind of easy to get the parts you know right and then you're like, then I can figure out where everything else is going to go. I knew this is what I wanted to do at the very beginning, but. So our spring bait break next week so I don't have to do any schoolwork. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Kind of not really planning. We weren't actually planning on to leave, but I know our my my daughter's teacher was going to Mexico and had to cancel. Cuz they may not get back into the United States. You have, you have dinosaur pictures, Gail? I know. I kind of made, it was kind of a stretch. I'm like, well, there's a dinosaur in one picture, right? So, you know. But he loves dinosaurs, so I'm like, I can use it whenever. When he's at, you, have to act, you don't have to have an actual dinosaur in there. <laughs> it does kind of pull it together a little bit. Okay. We went to, um, there's a dinosaur park in Utah. That's pretty awesome. And, or Ogden, or thereabouts, north of Salt Lake, and they have a ton of like replica, you know, obviously not real dinosaurs, but <laughs> some fake ones outside, and then you can see a bunch of fossils and stuff inside. And they have animatronic dinosaurs, which they thought were pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to do a little strip out of this guy for to kind of piece together right there. Oh, Gal, your spring break got ruined. Kelly's was last week. Ugh, I have so many plans. I just, I, know, I have a few friends, like one friend's in Paris and one went to Thailand and they went still because it was like last week. And I'm like, yeah, but... This week, things are changing. Because President Trump said, you can leave, but you may not get back in here. So that's kind of worrisome. We're going, we're planning on going. I can tell you because my kids aren't here. It's a surprise, I'm really excited. We're planning on going to Disneyland in January. And I'm like, oh geez. If, if it's still going on then, I don't know. It better not ruin that trip. Yep, I think that works. So what I'm trying to do is kind of get the base ready and then um, I really liked what Mary was talking about this morning with, you know, you can kind of get your base design in and then kind of find ways to, to make it better. Are there multiple dinosaur museums in Utah, Gal? I did not know that. We've only been to one. 
but we go there every couple years. Okay, so I'm gonna I know. Oh, I don't even want to worry about that. Christine saying, "Who knows? Yeah, who knows if school is done for the year?" Because I know they keep. I keep hearing that, and I just like. Oh. My school's a little more liberal. They didn't quite close down as soon as the other ones. I don't know. Liberal probably closed. I don't know. I don't know what the word is. It's a Montessori school, and it's small, so I. I feel like they were more willing to keep it oh like they were they were wanting to let me put these right here um keep it open than maybe the public schools um but my kids that's their last year there they're going to a public school next year and I'm just like oh I'm so sad for them and they're in kindergarten so it's their graduation but you know what you can be sad we can be sad but it's okay. Everything will be okay. I loved... Three plays left on our plan. Oh. I know, my, my niece, I'm so sad for her. She was starring in Annie. She was going to be Annie. She was actually Annie. And... She was so excited and practiced so hard and it got canceled. And you know, was, she's only 13. So it's one of the biggest things that's ever happened in her life and she, it got canceled and we're so sad for her. She even has red hair. It was like she was born to play the role of Annie. Her plan, our friends were planning on going to Hawaii this week and it was postponed. Oh, coming into the islands. Hey, I guess if you're getting quarantined, Hawaii is the place to do it. Although in a I don't know, a hotel in Hawaii is that that much better than a hotel anywhere else? Yes, the answer is always yes. I know, I know. You know, I think it's a great opportunity though. Like <laughs> we were, I was laughing with her teacher. She's like, even if, cause there's only two little, they're in Montessori. So it's like preschool through kindergarten age. And we're like, even if we have to go in the field and everybody has to stand six feet away from each other, we are doing a graduation. We can make their little hats out of paper. We're doing some, but you know, it's like, it's kind of a cool opportunity celebrated it a different way in a way that they will never forget and it won't be the same but maybe dad could give a, the you know the graduation speech and they can give they can be the graduation speech of their own like it's kind of a unique opportunity you know be creative and find a way I know I have a friend or in our at my church there was a missionary coming home and he was planning on speaking right before like all of our churches got canceled and we just kind of worship at home and um and so he did a zoom call with the whole ward and we uh, the whole church and we could watch on zoom and i'm like that's so cool so you know you can be creative and have opportunities to still to still be with people oh girl's daughter the senior year too oh so awful Oh boy. Am I still going? anybody hear me? It, my computer kind of crap. I don't know what happened. Can you hear me? <laughs> I think we're going. Okay. 
Oh. Okay. Okay, Gal can hear me. Thank you. So this kind of bothers me, but I really want to use this paper. So I'm going to ink it, and then I almost think I can just create a mat with this brown, and that will help celebrate it. I don't know, guys. Yeah, I'm probably pretty delayed. I feel like I'm not here, or people are saying stuff that takes a while. Oh, good. Okay, well, I'll just keep going, and who knows? I think the internet's just <laughs> going a little crazy because they're like, oh, we're not used to this many people being home and <laughs> using the internet. Although it's Saturday, I guess that should be fairly normal. Okay, because even on that, I feel like maybe it's a little too separated, so. Ow. I do that every time. I try to pick up my bag. can't find my other one. So we're going to use a brand new one. So I hand cut the other one, but I had a paper to do it. So on this one, I'm going to, which you could totally just do this with your other one. Just the idea of layering, but making your own layer. So I don't know if I would call it a good movie, but I'll call it a cute movie. <laughs> um, we just rented that movie with the firemen with John Cena and my kids absolutely loved it. They thought it was the most hilarious thing ever. So if you're needing some entertainment, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, an, it's a kid's movie with um, John Cena. Anyway, so that way we have a little better separation right there and I think that looks cute. I know it's easy to focus on things we're missing. Um, it just made me think about um, these made me think about Easter eggs, and we normally do this Easter egg hunt on at Boise State on the on the blue turf because we are um, football um, season ticket holders, and <laughs> like oh we won't be able to do that this year. But yeah, I think the the memories we're making with this is it's it's you just gotta remember that that's pretty cool. It's hard when they're missing like the big moments, but like, you know, this is not something that happens every year. It's super unique and like it's a unique opportunity to be able to, to do a lot of these things that we normally wouldn't have time for. I refuse to rent movies. I know. I know. I'm a sucker though, man. When you're like, I just want to cook dinner. So I get a new movie, but it was at Redbox, so it was pretty cheap. Although I wonder if those are gonna shut down, who knows? I'm lucky I already work from home, but now everyone else is here, Christine, oh. I know, I was, I felt pretty lucky because I don't, I work at the Kiwi Lane office, but um, I have the opportunity to work at home, like, you know, if my kids are over sick or, you know, different things, so I have a setup at home and like in the summer I do work at home a lot more. So it didn't feel that weird to me, but probably not. Um, to come home, but 
You better believe we went out and bought a new iPad because I'm like, we only have two. And if all three of you are going to be learning on that iPad this year, I, I don't want I don't want to hear the fighting all the time. Oh. Friends are doing a book club online tonight. That is so cool. Um, I just, I know, I'm really bad. I, I love reading. I absolutely love it, but I forget to read. And then I get a book and I read it in like a day. <laughs> I just read um, A Girl from the Train. I think The Girl from the Train, A Girl from the Train. It was really good. It was an easy read too, you know, just really quick, but it was good. And it was about World War II and <laughs> kind of ironic, um, you know, all the hiding that she had to do. She was German, but her grandmother was Jewish and so she ended up kind of getting caught in everything. So we're pretty lucky. Anyway, it's a good book. I'd recommend it. What are you reading for your book club, Christine. One thing I like is I'm not worried about what they're going to wear to school or like anything like that. So I've let my kids dress themselves this week, which I probably should have been doing anyway. But I'm like, Let's, let's learn how to do this. Let's learn where, you know, how to put away your, you know, we're really working on practical life. It's a, the Montessori term where it's basically like folding the laundry and putting clothes away. <laughs> like, this is schoolwork for them. They actually have like a laundry basket with little towels at school that they fold. It's really cute. I hate when they don't all come together exactly. <laughs> Gail, I'm the queen of ignoring life. Do you mean like when you when you read a book, it's like nothing else matters? Is that what you mean? I do that. Like don't get any sleep. No, but I'm really good at tuning my kids out so I can read while they're doing their thing and they can be screaming in the background and I'm, I'm fine with it. So what books are you guys reading? I need no books. I know I hate that the library is closed because I'm like, I just got to reading again. Not to mention the kids. It's like our favorite weekly trip to the library. Cause you know, it's like a treat for them. And so they, they'll do almost anything to be able to go. Heartstone, never heard of it. See, I know there's so many books and you're like, I've read some yucky books or not, not like great books. And you're like, don't want to waste your time. So I always want to know, is it good yet? I have one friend who is, ex reads exclusively and she rates all of her books. And I don't know what app it is. And <laughs> I'm so grateful for that because I know that if she liked it, then I'll probably like it. I was just looking at her book list. I know. I actually went like not like a week ago, a week and a half ago. I went and I wasn't thinking like, I just wasn't expecting this, I guess. Maybe it was na naivety, naivete. Um, but I just wasn't expecting all this to happen. So I only got two books, but I still have one to read. So. Yeah, I read it in like a day and then I'm like, well, I can't pick up another book now until I get caught up on everything else. Of course, now this weekend I'm crafting, which is A-OK -okay with me. You don't have a library in your town. You don't have anything in your town, Gal. <laughs> Gal lives in Nevada. In the middle of nowhere, right? Um, I haven't tried the checking out though. I do have a Kindle. I haven't used it in a while, but I like, I'd rather, I prefer to read real books, but. Her Origins by Dan Brown. Hmm. He did the Da Vinci Code, right? 
big magic. Oh, I love you guys. You have a Maverick in a grocery store. All you need in life is Maverick. Fountain. I haven't had a Diet Dr. Pepper in like three months. It's kind of crazy to think that because up until then I had like 10 a day. And I like all this stress of everything that's going on makes me really, really want to get a Diet Dr. Pepper. But we don't have any in our house anymore so I'd have to go get a mass, I'd have A, go out and then B, get a massive one. And I just, I don't know. Might make me sick if I haven't had it in three months. East Cleveland, a suburb, yeah. The big towns usually have really good ones. We have a great one. It's I live in a tiny town too, but it's next to huge towns. So um, we have a lot of libraries fairly close by. So I kind of raised that up compared to what the sketch was. And a lot of that reason is I don't have any two by twos right there. So even if I put something right there, it's not going to be the main thing. Okay, I really like that. Maybe a couple dinosaur eggs right there would be cute. So if you're lucky enough to have had um, the shape, tiny shapes. I use those all the time. Yes, Chanel Diet Dr. Pepper. It's my, it's my curse. No, oh, it's my true love, I guess. <laughs> that I'm not drinking right now. So I'm wondering, that wouldn't really work. That one might. I'm almost thinking I could do that and then cut it off. And then that would be a really cute way to journal. thing is that you can definitely see where you're going to cut so it makes it easier. I made a run to Hobby Lobby just in case seriously I know we kind of were trying to make a list today of anything else we needed but you know I don't want to go out just for fun but adhesive is I don't need adhesive I have so much of everything but you gotta make sure you like what are we going to need like we were laughing, me and Jen, Budge, were laughing because we're like, we buy all this stockpile of food and the kids all of a sudden think it's like Christmas and that they can eat and eat and eat. I'm like, something that should last us a month is going to be gone in a couple days. <laughs> hey Jen, you're, I was just talking about you. I feel like I'm going crazy. I just had paper. Oh, it's done. <laughs> I was just cutting with that. So I think I'm going to do this one just because it's eggs. Um, I literally put tape <laughs> on our pantry. Like we have a little cupboard for the kids of like, you know, fig bars, applesauce, yogurt. I taped it up today. I'm like, you guys are done. You have a snack. You're done. Can't afford to do this. <laughs> Sorry, I get cutting. I like. Ugh. I hate circles or ovals. They're the worst. Yes. You can see a little bit if you, if you go wrong. All right. 
I think that's Jen commenting as cute with Ain, right? Yeah, that'll be cute. And we will post this challenge just so you know um, if it isn't already. I'm not sure if she got my message, but we will post this and you can submit it and we will have a winner next Friday and you win $25 short credit. So pretty awesome. I did it again, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, I need to use something besides my bag to look up stuff. <laughs> my kids haven't been eating everything in sight like they thought they would. <laughs> yeah. Although... We don't, they, my, my kid's school doesn't have a, uh, shoot, a cafeteria, so we have to make their meals ahead of time, so I'm like, I guess I don't have to do that, rush that in the morning anymore, which is nice. So I kind of think I want to bring some red right there to kind of balance that, so I'm going to do this in red. Our poor, poor Girl Scouts keep on advertising cookies. Oh. Yeah, it's rough. You know, and there's some really hard times going on. I know lots of people are losing their jobs, and it does make it a lot harder, you know, and then you're like, well, how am I going to support these people? But I've seen some real amazing ingenuity, um, from companies that were retail or whatever, and my favorite little antique shop, I don't know if it's an antique shop, but they kind of refinish furniture and stuff, they took their shop online. I was like, that's pretty cool, like to see people coming together and you know trying new technology, and that's pretty cool. Um, we're lucky because we can do this on Facebook Live and still be social and still talk to people, even though we're we're stuck at home. What's the red on the right page under the border? Oh, these, Jen? This is like a stegosaurus. <laughs> so, you know, like this guy. Just kind of adding that little detail in. Yeah, so this is, these two are tiny wildflower, and this is, oh gosh, I lost it. I think it's one of the ones from the design kits. I don't know where it is now, but if I see it. Oh, right here from the hello design kit is the littlest ones and then the other ones are tiny wildflower let's see well i'm sure jen you have dinosaur pictures so you should make one to you <laughs> i love she has like a what is she nine month old Everything's hard with a nine month old. I was laughing, um, I have my daughter's first birthday pictures. <laughs> and I had her when my twins were two. So her first birthday pictures were when she was like 16 months. <laughs> and the only reason it happened is my mother was like, my mother-in-law was like, you have got to stop. Like your, your daughter needs a first birthday. And so she went and got it all. 
because I just, it was too hard. Everything was hard then. That was like the hardest year ever. Oh, God, that is so annoying, Jen. Kids and like stuffing plastic wrap, it's like, I mean, I remember my mom used to get so mad at me and I understand, I understand why you were so mad that I didn't throw my things away, I'm sorry. If I could go back, I would throw everything away. She's a very neat woman, like, our house is so clean and my, I just naturally wasn't that way I am now, but I was probably one of those, like, her, her hell, because she had to deal with me being kind of messy. I find, the problem is, I find yogurt and, yogurt and, like, the go-go squeeze yogurt and go-go squeeze applesauce everywhere and they're not full like they suck them but somehow they don't get it all out so you step on it and it squirts out yogurt everywhere <laughs> so frustrating so i can't find my pen so i'm gonna have to add the journaling later i like that let's see Trying to decide if I want to have something. I know she had, like, I'm not going to do any of the stuff she had there, which is fine. I'm trying to decide what I want, though. And you don't have to follow it exactly. The first birthday party is the only one my kids are guaranteed to have. <laughs> yeah. I know, gal, I was a total failure that year. And I feel so bad because... My twins are realizing they may not get a birthday party this year <sighs> because of everything that's going on. And it just breaks my heart. They didn't get one last year because we were moving into our new house and so it just didn't happen. So I'm just checking these out to see if there's anything. Stegosaurus might be kind of cute. You are so roarsome. As far as sticker goes, they're not bad. As a kid, I had to take a Flintstone vitamin, and my mom said she would find them all hidden in the dirt. <laughs> Jennifer Budge. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> That's awesome. She needed to do a tongue check. So I might do with these, um, maybe put those like in a strip right there or right there and you know, you can have these kind of cute to kind of come off of that. Um, I could do like a strip of a couple of them. Seriously, you do do what you have to do. I saw a meme, like seriously, all the memes are my favorite, but it was like the one doctor's orders I won't not doctor's recommendations I won't be following during the, during this is their recommended time for scream time <laughs> it just isn't gonna happen we will survive this and we got to do it with a little a little help anything we can do That's fun. Creative Memories has some really cute stuff, Christine. I know. I think Susan was using their paper just the other day. Okay, so I want to have also some text like um I don't know. I'm trying to think of like toothless or something. We've had so much screen time, seriously. I know today um, their poppy came over and was helping us with all the yard work because he was like the nicest human being ever. And we were like, the kids wanted to go in and watch TV. I'm like, no, we. it's beautiful, it's sunny. Let's go outside and play. Okay. I'm going to go with more like the descriptors that are going to work for him. Handsome. Oh, 
It's like all the dinosaur ones I don't necessarily want. So that's kind of cute because then it's like a Rorsum hat, but If there's another one. Or some totally handsome, awesome boy. So that's kind of my journaling like she had on the paper. Um, so definitely you don't have to just use your handwriting. Oh, it's colder today for you. I know. Like, well, we finally all have time. Let's, let's get together and scrapbook. Oh, yeah, we can't. But we can on here, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and get it finished. I feel like we've been a little chatty today, which is fun. Because it does, it feels isolating being without friends. So um, I heard somebody was saying they were doing, like, a Zoom crop. And I was like, that is awesome. So even if you can't go play with your friends like physically you can definitely get on here because you can still be chatting the whole time you're creating and it doesn't matter if you're 50 miles away or right next to each other oh Jen you're so nice yeah I just use my iPhone anymore that is the only thing I use every once in a while I pull out my camera but usually because I'm pulling it out to shoot a layout or something and then I Where do we find the challenge sketches? Okay, Cynthia, so you should have been emailed it yesterday and there's a link to a Google Doc. We would have done a blog, but it, the website is still down. So right now it's a Google Doc, you can find anything. Jen, can you post that in the comments? Do you happen to have that with you? Um, but either way, I'll post it later. And then, but they're all in the Play to Create group. So this is day three. And for sure we have a day four and five. And honestly, if you guys are loving this and want, want to participate, excuse me, um, we can definitely see about what else we can do. So I just want to add some layers, some cuteness. This is Tiny Explore. Something like that could be kind of cute. Um, I'd like a place where I can put like a title right there with those cute little letterings. And so I feel like we can definitely, I can pull this in because it, I used it on the strip. Because at this point, it's just about making sure it feels even and where you want to have everything. Thanks, Jen. So yeah, right there. Um, who was asking for it? Cynthia. Jen posted, the and Kiwi Lane Designs posted um, the comment. And you can find the link to all the challenges because it's... Um, we're going to pick our winner for each challenge, and so it's a $25 gift card. Pretty awesome. And it does have the link to all these um, crops, and then every day we're also doing different things like I did to inspire. Mindy's going to be on at 5 central time in three and a half hours. She'll be on with another kid craft, something you can do with the kids, kind of keep them occupied, um, keep them their minds active. Cooking demos, that's awesome. Um, somebody else was doing doodles every day at, at like 1 p.m. and 
for kids, and I'm like, we are going to watch that. I don't know if he's doing it on the weekends, but there's a lot of really cool people coming together and providing entertainment and different things that we just, you know, you don't see. I think it's incredible. You see these amazing people rather than complaining and rather than doing whatever that they're like, hey, look, I can help this world. I can help parents with their kids. I can do this. And it's really cool to see that. <laughs> Jen, just do it. No, it's hard at that age because man, they, their little fingers get it. Um, Onward just came out last night. So if you buy Onward from Apple TV, you might get your kids to watch that. I'm, I, I, I haven't let them watch it yet because I'm banking on um, a hard time that we're going to turn that one on. Mo Williams. Yeah, that's the one that's doing the doodles. It's pretty cool. Josh Gad is reading on Twitter. Yep, that's super. I think Reese Witherspoon was too. So there's a couple different art books. Things like Audible's, I, Audible, I heard, was doing something where they are, like, you can read for free, listen to books for free for kids. I haven't tried it myself, so I guess I can't um, guarantee it. So I'm trying to think of what color. I feel like green could be a good color right there. Um... Just with where it's not directly on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, guys. It's fun. If you're going to be stuck at home, you better scrap up. Not you better, but you better do something that speaks to your soul and makes you happy that you can kind of Help de stress. I knocked something off. I don't know what it was. Oh. Oh, Onward is coming to Disney Plus. Well, I already bought it. Oops. I know our internet went down last night, and I was like, please, like, we own, like, three kids movies before Apple TV. I don't know what we'll do if <laughs> if we don't have internet. Yeah, kids can do Audible for free. We um we bought Peter Rabbit before you know all this. My kids love listening to that before like going to bed listening to a story. So I definitely need to explore. See I did it. Dang it. I do that a lot. Can I use it somewhere else? <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, but let me look. I don't think I like it, though. What do you guys think? I want a different color, but I don't really like that one. Maybe blue. Maybe it's the blue color I need more of. Maybe I'll just do more blue. I could do yellow. The baby just started crying. Oh. Yes, Jen, try it and share it with everybody. Okay. It's always, I always mess up with that. Which direction I'm planning on. I need to think before I cut. You play Frank's, Frank's on my children to de-stress. Oh, Gail, I love you. That's awesome. Especially if, like your kids are like, you, what, you have a senior and what else? Like That's totally the age you can just be like, have a little fun. Yeah, I heard Trolls is coming out too. Like, they're not going to do the theater release because there's no reason to because nobody can go. I'm just hoping Hamilton doesn't get canceled. I don't even know when they're actually... I think it's probably years out. <laughs> but, because In the Heights is coming out in June, so I'm sure Hamilton's a ways out. 
I know, do blue for an arrow. I think so too, but I can't find a blue. Go. I mean, that's blue. That looks dumb. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh. Sometimes. I can do that. Does that look bad? I want that blue. just clashes with the green so I'm not gonna do that that doesn't bother me let's try again okay guys you like it I think it looks good on the page I'm just worried about with him but if you guys like it I'm gonna trust you okay I got it Thank you, Leslie. It was a good week for him. Um, oh gosh, I just am thinking about that. Like, my kids are at the age where their teeth are falling out like crazy, and if we're stuck at home, what if I run out of glitter? <gasps> That's the problem with starting traditions. <laughs> you gotta keep up with it. Oh, jeez. We need that. We need a little happiness for sure. All right, guys, I hope this is the one. Does anybody else do this or is it just me? It's probably just me. I just, but I think too, I hate looking back at the layout and thinking like, oh, I should have, like, I should have changed it. I should have done this. Thanks, Gil. <laughs> Seriously, they're just falling out like crazy. He now has, um, it's the cutest thing ever. He has no teeth right now, no front teeth. <laughs> That's my husband's remark about the elf on the shelf, but I think it's fun. That's exactly why I did not do elf on the shelf. Like, it's not that I don't think I would love it, but I'm like, December can get crazy. I don't know if I want to. I'm, I'm not. I'm not ready to commit yet. So, we have not had an elf visit our house yet. Although my husband really wants to, so we'll see. Okay, guys. I think you're right. I think it looks good. I think it's okay that it's not the same, because it really goes well with those things. Now let's see if I can add some text to it. I'll find where I put the stickers. Right here. And I think an egg would be cute in there. I love stickers, but I have the hardest time using them. But I think it'd be cute right there. I'll go ahead and write like new glasses, right? I don't know. Yeah, that sums up pretty good. That looks good. My little one loves Elf on the Shelf. I know, they love all of them, like leprechaun traps, all of that. I just, I'm not a party pooper, I promise. I just don't want to commit. <laughs> I like the random like, hey, guess what? We're having a party for no reason at all. <laughs> he 
he's getting to the age where he wants to smile like a turd, sorry. I'm like, mm-mm, we gotta get that real smile in there. I did not measure right and I need a little bit more room. Gosh, good thing I had all the, uh, used all the S's. All right, guys, there we go. All right, I think that's, that'll do it. I have to add my journaling, which I will do. I will do after because I can't find my pen. But that's the layout. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely, um, you can watch. Susan has a video of her like creating this layout originally. And then um, here is the thing, and we'll post it in a little bit. And then, um, yeah, go ahead, and I'd love to see what you guys have to make. And, yeah, we'll have a winner, $25. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good night, and make sure to join Mindy at 5 p.m. Central Time. She has a cute little kid craft she'll be sharing. Bye, guys.